Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. And today we're making my delicious pineapple muffins that has sour cream in it. And boy, is it good, easy. So we're gonna get started. This is in our third cookbook. Hey y'all, it's Sunday. We are in the mood for something sweet and I opened up my uh, cookbook and saw the pineapple muffins and I thought you know what that's something that I can make quick and easy so we're gonna make some pineapple muffins right quick and uh, we're glad you're here with us we're gonna first use all the wet ingredients and we're gonna start with an egg one of our chicken eggs And we're going to put in eight ounces of sour cream. A third cup of melted butter. Get it all in there. And eight ounces of crushed pineapple juice and all. So it's the small can. I only had a large can. So I had to get out the large can and measure it. So we're gonna take all these wet ingredients and we're gonna mix them up first. We haven't had these in a long time, have we? Nope. Now, if you wanna substitute pineapple, you can. But now the pineapple has a good bit of juice in it, so I don't really know what to tell you to substitute it with. You'd have to add more juice to your um, muffins if you did that. How about peaches? Yeah. They could blend them. Yeah. Put them in there. That would be good. That would be really good because then it would be like crushed peaches with the juice and all. All right. That sounds really good, Daddy. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take... cups of self-rising flour. Now if you don't have self-rising, then what you'll do is you'll add baking powder and soda. No, yes, this one gets soda because you're using sour cream. So if you're using all-purpose flour, I do have an alternate in my cookbook to tell you what to do and how much stuff to add. Two cups of flour. I might add a little to grow on. All right, and then you use a half cup of packed brown sugar. I guess you use my same measuring cup. Brown sugar. And then you use a half cup of chopped pecans. Which is a good handful. And then you're just gonna mix this up together. So it's all brown sugar, huh? Yeah. Huh. I love brown sugar, don't you? And the pineapple's got a lot of sugar in it too, baby. Yeah. So you make a well in your flour and sugar, which, you know, and then you pour in your pineapple mixture. Then you mix it up and cook it. It's that simple. Yeah, peaches would be good this way. And I think you could use, I think you could even use um, pie filling. Oh, yeah. And do this. Yeah. With pie filling. Mm. And it would be delicious. So you could use strawberry. Apple, blueberry, whatever kind you wanted to do. It makes a nice muffin with that sour cream in there. It's just like having buttermilk. Those of you that can't get buttermilk, always remember that sour cream 
can be used and it makes it taste just like buttermilk. All right, that's simple, ain't it, y'all? This is in our third cookbook. You can see it's right across from hot water cornbread. I need to do another video for that. And uh, this is our third cookbook. All of our cookbooks come spiral bound with a large print and they're on sale right now. I've got them 15% off, but you gotta buy four to get the deal. And you're probably thinking, well, why do I have to buy four? Because if I give you 15% off and you don't buy all four, we don't really make any money because there's a lot of uh, money that goes into having them made, shipped, and then us shipping them back to you. So um, that's why. Now, you're gonna get you a muffin tin. Now this does make 12 muffins and I'm gonna spray it. I don't fly. You see him? As soon as he starts spraying that stuff. There he is. Wait. Right over the food. Now he's on your cookbook on top of it. Hang on, that's still. Did you see where he went? No. Let's just finish. There he went. And if you don't want to pay for a cookbook, all the recipes are free on collardvalleycooks.com. You want to look right. on there, you can print them off for free. Now this is a little eighth cup scoop, and I'm gonna use it and fill these up. The batter's pretty. And this white lily flower is already wanting to rise up and puff up. We love our white lily flower. Oh, y'all, I got a chicken story. You know we got chickens now. And uh, I've got one chicken, and some of y'all ask me, am I gonna name them? And I'm like, I'm like, I can't even keep up with my kids' names, much less that 15 chickens. But I got home from church today, and I walked out on the porch, and the white chicken, we've only got one that's white. And she's a real big, fat, white, fluffy one. Y'all, she stays filthy. I mean, she looks gray. Because our soil here is kind of dark, ain't it, Chris? Yeah. And uh, today when I got home, I've got them spoiled already because I feed them watermelon and different stuff. So I walked out on the porch, and the minute they saw me, they all come running. Well, she was laid in the dirt. And she jumped up, and when she jumped up, she shook real hard, you know, like a dog does. And dust went everywhere. And it reminded me of that little boy of Charlie Brown that always has the cloud of dust around him, Pigpen. So we're going to start calling her Pigpen. So I named her today Pigpen because she's just like him. Hmm. Oh, Pigpen. Oh, Pigpen. All right, let's... Pop these things in the oven. Look at there, it made 12 and then some. I think I could get six more. Yeah. We're gonna put them in here. Let them start baking. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes as soon as they're done. Now I have you bake these on 350, so it's gonna take a 35 minutes to 40 minutes to get them really pretty and brown. And you can see they're gorgeous. They almost smell too brown on the bottom. Let's flip them out and see. This is a new oven, y'all. No, they're perfect. Ooh, it's hot. Pretty, ain't they? Mm-hmm. It's been a long time since I had an electric oven. Now we have ordered all of our new appliances. 
course, there will take a while to get here, and then we'll have to do all the remodeling and everything, but it won't be too long. No. Look at this little short one I made. <laughs> so I had four extra muffins that I made. So, I mean, if I had really put all of the batter in these, they would have been taller. So you could have done that. Let's get some butter and butter one. Nothing's better than a good buttered muffin. What I love about muffins is that you don't have to make um, icing. And these only had the half cup of sugar and then the sugar from the pineapple. So they're not as bad for us either as like a piece of cake. Oh boy, they're delicious. Look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter on it. Oops. Let it melt on there. Then I'm gonna take a bite. These are really delicious. And like I said, um, if you wanted to, you can make, open up some uh, pie filling for a quick dessert. Golly, this is so simple and easy to do. And the great part about it is that you don't have to wait on it to cool off to ice it or nothing. And you get to enjoy it while it's warm. Nothing's better than a warm muffin. Mm -mm -mm. That's so delicious, y'all. So remember, it's in our third cookbook, and if you want to substitute that pineapple out, just use your imagination. Just make sure it, it does have some liquid in it. And whatever you decide to do, whether you use a pie filling or just some canned peaches, uh, use your little immersion blender or something and beat them up some. Boy, would it be delicious with peaches too. I hope you've enjoyed watching our video today, cooking like Mama did. And me and Chris are going to enjoy these warm, buttery muffins on a rainy Sunday. We'll see you next time on Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Love ya. Bye.